Hi, this is Joy, and I wanted to tell you about a, a brief sentence in the reading that's really stood out to me today. Um, in his sketch of the Eastern European Church of the 17th century, Dermid McCullough noted that the Ultraquist Church, which we might remember as the Hussite Church from John Huss of the 14th century, is the only church since the disappearance of the Arians totally to have vanished from European Christianity. I have to say that when I first read this, I was uh, at first sad that, that a church had completely vanished. It seemed a, a little devastating, and I wondered how the followers who had been in that tradition before would have felt. And then as I pondered it for a little bit, I began to marvel at the fact that that was the first one since the Arians that had disappeared, and so that seemed kind of amazing. And as I've, I've thought and read a little bit more today, I have considered that many tradition, many Christian denominations or traditions have ended since then. They've ended either by disbanding or by joining other traditions. So this is not necessarily unique. But there, there is a bit of a further story about this. Um, the Czechoslovak Hussite Church, which separated from the Roman Catholic Church in Czechoslovakia after World War II, um, does trace its tradition back to the Hussites, and it views John Huss as its founder. This brief sentence and meditation uh, was a reminder to me of God's con constant and consistent action in the world by sustaining God's church. And this sustaining isn't because we are doing it right, but because God is gracious. It's not because our reformers are bold and strong and well-spoken. They're often accidental. Uh, but it's because of God's Spirit working in and through us.